guys, it's Tanya. So I am going to, I know when we left off, we did the covers, right? For the Halloween journals. And I know it's been a minute. I'm so sorry. Um, so we're just going to do both of them in this video. And it shouldn't take long because I've already did a lot of prep work. It shouldn't take long because I've already did a lot of the prep work. Okay? Okay. So we're going to start with this one first, right? And so what I did was I didn't do anything in the inside. All I did was I got pages, right? And this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree. The rest of it is like um, long sheets of paper that I had that I just coffee dyed. And then I added some pattern paper. That's it, y'all. Really, really easy. Um, these uh, fabrics, I'm going to show you guys, are... And I should have been better prepared. I'm so sorry. It's just um, the ribbon, right? Um, see, It's just a ribbon, and I sewed the ruffles. All I did was I cut the wire edge off of the ribbon. So that's it. That's what I used for the fabric, right? And then that's it, and I put it on there. So I made, um, I think it's like six. So each one of them... Or like you know like this right so I just took three pages and just put tassels on the end right and I kind of maneuvered them a little bit so that they wouldn't all be so bunched up so like when you're looking at the side of it it can look full right so that is it and then I Put it in here like this before before I did it I put it in here and I kind of measured the pages and kind of curved the pages a little bit you know they're a little wonky but it'll be okay I think it looks cute nonetheless right so that is how it's gonna go so we're gonna bind this super easy right so what I decided to do and I was thinking y'all I decided that we're just gonna do um we're gonna do a, a what is that called y'all Eyelet. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do eyelets, right? So I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to show you guys kind of how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take it in here like this. Can you guys see that? And I am just going to put one right here. And I am not measuring, you know, you don't have to measure if you don't want to. You could actually measure the center and do all that. You don't have to. Um, I think it's going to work out just fine. Um, even if we don't measure, you know, so I'm going to make a right there and I'm going to make a mark right there. Oh, uh, gosh, you think we should put one in the middle? Mm, I was just thinking about doing a two string one to make it really easy and flexible. And then that way we won't have to worry about it so much. What do you guys think? I think that'd be okay. I think that'd be okay. All right, so that's how we're going to do it. So that's that. So we're going to just put this up here. And I don't know why I didn't make the thing right here. Let me make sure I'm doing this right, y'all. Let me make sure it's in the middle. Yes, it is in the middle. So we're just going to make the mark right here. Like that. Oh, no, it's not. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I know you're like, you should have just measured it, girl. I probably should have. But I didn't. So we're just going to bring it up there like that. Just like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to paper clip these together, right? Paper clip these together. Once I paper clip these together, I'm going to get a piece for the inside, okay? Because originally I was going to sew them in, but then I was like, yeah, we don't need to do all that. So let me get a piece for this and let me get my eyelids and I'm going to use Baker's Twine, okay? Okay guys, so what we have is a piece of the ribbon and all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it right here. Um, nothing too fancy. I'm just going to glue it so you won't see this part, right? Glue it really good. Uh, we're gonna, hopefully it doesn't make any... Um, what is that one I'm trying to say, y'all? Oh, the nasty stuff. like so. The gunky in the um, inside, so we'll just do it like that, right? And we'll put this down like so, like that. Perfect, right? I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit. Right. Put that right over 
there like this. Uh, I'm gonna glue it all the way down. All right, guys, it's glued in there. Looks nice. It's flexible. Looks good. So I'm gonna attempt to put it through my crocodile, and it might not be all the way dry. That's okay. Um, where it go? Oh, did pretty good. Right. Then we're gonna do this one. Okay. Easy. Like that. Then we take our eyelets and put them in there. Right. Like this. Another eyelet. Hopefully, I can get the right color. Uh oh. Okay. Is that the right color? Yes, that's the right color. And we're gonna put that in here like this. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, right? Okay, look. It looks really nice on that side. Okay, now I'm going to take, hey, okay guys, I'm going to take my bookbinding tool and I'm going to just punch a hole right there through the middle like this. And I'm going to make it go all the way down like that so it is a big hole, right? I'm going to do this one the same. That's kind of off, but it'll be all right, y'all. Push this one all the way down like that right just like that like that okay see one is kind of off but it'd be okay it will be okay I guess we can make it a little bit over to the side make it even like that make it a little bit bigger like this there we go perfect okay now we're going to take our Baker swine and I am going to I think I'm gonna loop it in the inside um, okay guys it was just taking too long so I just put it through a needle just stuffed it through there okay so now we got it look like this and it looks like this on the outside right really nice so we're gonna just do it really tight uh, y'all my fingers ain't working <laughs> I'm so sorry Okay, let's do it down at the bottom, do it this way, make it tight, hold that like that, and we'll just do a little bow. And let's see, let's see if it's too loose. No, not loose at all, okay. So we're going to double knot it. After you tie the bow, we're going to just tie it again like this. Right. I'm just going to tie it one more time. I always do a triple knot, but sometimes this doesn't work. Okay. That is that. You need to keep the strings kind of long. Take that out. Bam. Right? And we have a book. Right? We have a nice journal. And um, pages. Guys, I just put like 15 pages in there. So that would be like 30 front and back so or you know so you have enough pages for the um rest of the month of october right so that's that and then what i did was i took some of the pattern paper if you don't want to use the pattern paper or you don't have pattern paper and you just want to use stuff from the dollar tree you can always take one of the bags that we had um and you can literally cut them into a pocket okay so i am going to put Oh, this one goes on here. All I did was cut it in the shape like this, like that. And we're going to glue it down. So this is what it looks like. And the pocket is all in there, right? Okay, so what I did was I took these um, Velcro stickers, right? And I just stuck them together to make paper clips. So I have four for this journal right and then the um, felt 
um, pieces. All I did was I backed them with cardstock. Um, I was going to sew around them, but I thought that was just too much work. So here they go, and I messed up on this one, but that's okay because I glued it down without poking out the... <laughs> poking out the cutout parts yet so but that's I think it adds the character to it so these are those so they just go wherever you want to put them now also I have I'm going to show you guys I have these and these um little charms I got them from um can you see those yeah you can I got these from Amazon so these are not from the Dollar Tree um but I thought they worked really good, so we're just going to put that right there. Hopefully it works. I might have to put it the other way. Guys, I'm always messing up. Always messing up. Right? Is that going to work? Ah. Alright, so we'll put it this way, and it should work this way. It should work this way. There we go. That's good enough. We could put it this way, so it'll hang out like that perfect okay so that's the first one and then we'll just go through here guys you are more than welcome to make um tags so this one is a um pumpkin you can definitely make tags out of your um leftover paper bag pieces and things like that me um y'all I didn't do all that because I was already running behind schedule, but you guys know that. You you know how to make a tag. So that's something that I didn't have to show you guys. And guys, my embellishing is really simple because I'm not I'm I'm not really good at the whole embellishing thing where, you know, um how everybody is. They add so much stuff to their journals and they're putting all these lovely embellishments on there and things like that I'm that's not me I, I I try to for that to be me but it's not so this is part of the paper it ripped but it's okay I'm okay with that I'm okay with that let's put it like like this let's see if we can see it yes I like that let's do it like that right okay hold on let's flip this over is that gonna work yes it's gonna work yeah you can see it can't really see this ghost charm though but it's okay right so we got that that and then we have these are just some cut apart pieces from the um, journal right so I'm gonna put maybe this one in here we're gonna use one of these paper clips and put it right there which I think is cute see that and then we're gonna add another one Let's add something right here. We got a hat. Da da da. Let's have a pumpkin. Let me add something right there. So you have stuff at the top. Cute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pay this right here. We're going to add the extra one right here. Oh, guys, I did make um, washi with the this, right? All I did was I added my... Um, score tape to it and I just made the washi right so you have washi for your um, decorations maybe that's cute let me see if that's gonna work we have to fold it again and that's fine like this let's put it there like that and let's put this right there really cute let's do the back one y'all easy I tried to make it as easy as possible. Um, you guys know I can make things a little bit complicated, but I did my best to make it easy. Right? And so we're going to add this one, and we're going to add the pa extra paper clip. Like, oh, come on, y'all. Add the extra paper clip like this, right? And like that. That one is done. Oh, guys, you think we need something on the cover? Um, all I did was I, to embellish these. All I did was I took this sticker right here, put it right here, and then I had these from the year before. Um, it's like 3D, you know, um, and I just put one on top of there. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I have these right, and I was thinking about adding like something like this to the cover. What do you guys think? 
and then adding a little boo right there and then you can put something in here what do you guys think I think that would be a great idea just to give it something else right so we're gonna we're gonna add it oh wait a minute let's take this off right and then that way we can add it like a pocket right here and we can put something in there like a tuck spot right I think that'd be cute so let's make sure it's glued on really good. Right, so I'll put that right here, like that. Okay, and then you can add the boo to it. What do you guys think? Can you add the boo? Like right here, or right here? What do you got? I don't know, guys. Right there? I think I like it right here. Uh oh, let's take this off. Okay, and we'll add glue all over here. Right. Like that. Okay. Get that off of there. Okay. Just like this. And I think it looks cute. I could add something hanging right there if I wanted to. But other than that, I think it looks good. Let me see if I can find something to put in there really, really quickly. Let me, let me, let me, let me see what it would look like. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I guess you could put like a tag in here like that. That might be too big. But something like that, right? We'll have to make something. I'll have to put something in here. Okay, let me make this right here and we'll be done with this one, okay? Okay guys, so I just added some ribbon and I just, I put it, I didn't put it through the eyelid. I just put it on this part right here, right? So um, that is how it looks. I think it turned out really nicely. What do you guys think? Right, and so this is the back. We didn't put anything on the back, but remember you have a space to put something right there. Yeah, it turned out so cute. And... If I wanted to, I could put the ribbon through there so this won't be sliding down and sliding down. But other than that, I think it turned out really, really cute, right? So let's start on the next one. Okay, guys, so we are at the second one, okay? So I did the same thing with this one. I added the pattern paper and added the uh, ribbon as tassels, right? So this one doesn't have a cover. So what I was going to do is, you know, the bag that we had, right? I was going to make that into one of my covers. So I just literally folded it right here and so we're going to do it like that right I am going to mark it right here so I can cut it off like this and then I'm going to fold it to where this other cover is right here okay so we have this part and I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to kind of fold it I should have scored it before I did this and it would probably have been easier but it's okay I think we can do it without getting all those tools out oh yeah we did good okay so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut it in this I'm not gonna add anything to it I am going to make these on the side pockets from the cover so you have a pocket right here and a pocket right here I am going to sew around this top part and I'm going to sew around the bottom part and we are going to put the cover and bind this book together all right y'all so I just sewed it and this is a pocket right here sewed it at the bottom and this is a pocket right here right so it doesn't matter if it has the fold lines in there I think it's going to be okay so what I'm going to do is just eyeball it you guys that's all and <laughs> it's gonna be okay so we're gonna just eyeball it and make three holes because we're gonna make a three hole pamphlet stitch all right right here perfect and then I've already threaded my needle. Oh, come on. Like this. I'm just going to go in the inside. That. I'm going to go right there. On the outside. Come on. 
Oh my goodness, what is this stuck on? Okay. Let's put this up a little bit. Okay. This. And then we're going to go back through here. Yeah. Least favorite thing to do. Okay. And then we're going to go back through here without splitting the thread. And we're going to go move that on this side. Is that right? Yeah. Move that on this side. Uh-oh. Pull it out. Make sure it's tight like that. Make sure it's tight on that side. Yes, looks good too. And I'm going to just do a triple knot like this. And like that. Okay, so that's done. Right? We don't have to sew anything. We'll bind anything else together. We're done with that. Take out the paper clips. Move them aside. We are going to ink that up just a little bit. Right? And I think it looks beautiful. Now what I did was I, I put, um, I'll show you guys, a little... Um, a little gap right here with my crocodile, like right at the bend, right, right there, right. Hold on, y'all. Like right there, like this, so that when I put it with the elastics, it won't make my paper um have that little funny wrinkle at the top, you know, so it can just slide into the elastic. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Isn't that cute? Okay, so it's going to go in here like this. And I'm going to put it on the second one. Well, let's put it on the first one because I think we're going to do a folder. Right? Like this. And you see how it fits real nice and snug and then it fits into the grooves really good. Right? Just like that. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, so um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. All right. All right, so we need pockets. So what I decided to do was I used the pattern paper. And again, you don't have to use pattern paper. You can use um, the bags if you want to. I cut out two, uh -oh, two um, pockets. Um, all I did was I used the leftover pattern paper from there. And I just, you know, cut them out from there, okay? And I just sewed around it. Um, I'm going to do... The pockets glue them all the way down you know so that some of the stuff at the top won't go all the way down to the bottom of the page um, so you can kind of stop it um, I think that's gonna be good so let's do this like this all right come on all right that's that okay and then we have this one and we're gonna glue this one like this. Okay, that is an easy thing to do. Make pockets, right? And remember, you can use the pattern, you can use the bags, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use a bag for, for a pocket. If you don't have pattern paper, you do not have to use pattern paper. You can strictly use everything from the Dollar Tree. Guys, I did my best to find a Halloween book at the Dollar Tree. I thought they would have, you know, you know how they used to have like um, kid books for different holidays? I, maybe they don't do that anymore because I could not find a Halloween book at all. And I was so disappointed. I couldn't even find it at the thrift store. So it's a little bit disappointed in that, but that's okay. Okay, guys, so I just put my score tape down right and on the edges so that we can stick it down really good. Right, and guys, I'm so sorry about my fingernails. I know they look a hot mess. It's just been a, it's been a rough week. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to... Do it like this. Put it on there like that. Like this. And guys, I wanted to ask you. Um, so 
I probably won't be making too many videos for the next couple of weeks because you know my daughter's wedding is coming up and I have to kind of devote my time to that um, I wanted to know did you guys want would you guys be interested in me vlogging it like so you guys can see the process and stuff like that of what I'm doing and what we're wearing and how I'm decorating and where we're having it and stuff like that would you guys like to see that let me know if you don't want to see it then I won't do it if you want to see it I will definitely do it um, okay yeah it looks so nice guys this is trying out really good right so we're gonna get our uh oh distress ink and we're just gonna distress it just a little bit just a little bit like that okay I think it looks really nice right everything is down like that okay now on the back side, I thought, this is what I thought, I thought maybe we could add this bag right here as a pocket. What do you guys think? You think we could add this, I guess, as a pocket like this? Only thing is, hold on, let me make sure. I think it's a little bit too long. Hmm. Oh, how would I do that? Well, I guess what I could do is and do I want to do that? Mm, let's do it like because I got this little rip right here. Let me let me check. Let me let me let me see. It was gonna. Oh uh, yeah, because we'll have that little piece hanging off. I guess I could cut it right here and then add the fold back in there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this part. Mm. Guys, I hope I can do it straight. Okay, so we're going to cut. Oh. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay, let's cut. Cut, cut, Tanya. Cut, cut. Like this. Okay. You guys would think I'm doing surgery, so... Um... Yes. Okay. And I know I can see that's cricket already. I can see that it's cricket. Look at that. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll leave that. And then let's see. So we're going to measure this right about here. Where's my pencil? Like here. Like that. We're going to cut this off and then we're going to add this piece back into there. Okay guys, so I sewed it on and we're going to just glue this to there. And guys, I think this is going to work. Um, I don't see why it shouldn't work. It's just a fold, right? This to the back. Oh, did I do that wrong? Yeah. Why did I put that right there? Jeez Louise. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'm so sorry. My my brain is everywhere today. I was in the kitchen and I was microwaving me something, right? And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm sitting there on my phone waiting for my food. Why did I have the microwave still going? And my food was sitting on the counter. I hadn't even... I haven't even put it in there yet. I was like, okay, Tanya, where is your brain? Just some days it just, just like that, I guess. Right? Okay. And I know you're probably like, well, Tanya, why did you do that? I don't know. I don't know why I had to be extra and make the fold in there. I could have just cut both of them out. I know. I know. I could have done that. So if you wanted to do that, you are more than welcome. But if you did it. You don't have to. You There's a way that you can do it. And there you go. And now you have the same gusset. Right? Come on, glue. My glue's been acting so janky. And I know some of you guys said it was the humidity and stuff like that. So, it's just been acting really janky lately. All right. 
Let's put that down like this. Come on. To the edge. Like so. Like that. And perfect. What do you guys think? I think it's perfect. So we're going to add some glue. Like this. And like this, I think. I'm, I'm thinking I'm doing this right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And then we'll add the glue in there. Add the glue in there. In here. And in here. Like this. Add it on the back. Like this, which I probably should have put square tape. Uh, you know what? Let's just glue it all the way down. Yeah, let's just let's just glue it all the way down since that's ripped. We will we'll glue it all the way down. Okay, like this, right? And then we'll just press it all the way down like this. Boom to the edge, and there you go. Now, guys, I don't know. You think we should do a fold or two? Um, I don't really think we need a folder since we have this big old bag in the back. Um, but I guess we could put another pocket right here. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Mm. Okay, guys. So, <sighs> all right. Um, where were we at? Okay, I added some embellishments to in the charms, like I did the other one, right? To um, the book. Um, I cut this out just a little piece of the pattern paper same pattern paper we used for the inside of the other one well is it the same yes it is what is it let me make sure yes it's the same so we're just going to add a little pocket right here on here and I was going to put a folder but I decided not to since we have this big old bag right here um, I just don't think we need a folder um, so we're going to just do it like this right like that and guys, if you hear something that is my son, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so that is that. Oh, it looks nice, guys. What do y'all think? I think it looks good. Okay, so I have um, some of these cards, and we're just going to put them in here. This is from the paper collection. You know, something like that. Uh, we can put... Um, oh, that'd be cute. Let's put this right here. Oh, and I also have these paper clips so we'll put one on there like that I like that do I need to put something in the back uh yeah we could do that like this we can add this paper clip to here like so and this one to here just like as a um extra right come on y'all okay come on come on come on come on come on stick 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 Okay, like that. And then we're going to add... Hmm. Oh, I know what we forgot to add. We forgot to add our um, washi. Alright guys, so off camera I just added an eyelid right here. And I just put this one right here. Right? And I thought it went cute with it. Um, I added the ephemera in the pockets. The washi, everything like that. Um, so, yeah. That's it, y'all. What do you guys think? You guys think that was pretty easy? Yeah, so we just added a few things to the back. Right? I didn't put anything in this big gusset pocket right there. I just put it right here. Because um, I didn't have anything else to put in there. Um, that is that. Okay, guys. I didn't make a closure. Um, I think that it is okay without a closure. What do you guys think? So I didn't make a closure for any one of them. Um, if you're going to, you can always, with this, since it's kind of a traveler's notebook style, you can always put the elastic right here so it'll just go around. Or you can add a ribbon, you know, um, especially like if you don't have your tassels, I mean your ruffles hanging all the way out on the side like me, you can definitely add an elastic or a ribbon. But I think... They turn, I think this one's got to be my favorite. I don't know. They're both my favorite. But I think they turned out really nice. You know? What do you guys think? Well, guys, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope I gave you guys some ideas. And I hope it was kind of easy. Right? So, see you guys next time. God bless. Bye.